Hi, everybody. My name is Andrew, and this is another exciting edition of Kite Army Labs. Today, what I want to talk to you about is backup cameras. If you've ever driven a car without one, you know how horrifying it can be when you put that car into reverse. You can't see what's behind you. So if your car wasn't equipped with a backup camera, there are now a few products out there that you can easily install that aren't too expensive and require very little wiring. We're going to be talking about one of those cameras today. It's right here. That was closer than I thought. This is the Whistler camera. It's solar powered, so all those wires that you need to power the camera just go away. Really easy to install, takes about 20 minutes. So today what I wanna do with you is look at the backup camera up close, show you how to install the camera, and then do some testing. Let's jump into it. Anyway, let's talk about this guy right here. This is made by Whistler. It's a backup camera. It sells for about $80 to $100. And what makes this camera different from most other backup cameras available is that the camera is actually powered by solar power. So it charges itself during the day. And what that means is it virtually eliminates any wiring that's required in a traditional backup camera system. So this camera sits right above your license plate. Here's your LCD that's inside your car. They wirelessly talk to each other. And the idea is really good. So what I want to do with you is actually go through the process of installing this camera and then do some testing. This step I have to install the backup camera over my license plate. Watch how fast I work. That's it, did that in about three minutes. Not bad. Let's go and check the inside and see if it's connecting to the camera. Let me walk you through the setup for this test. I've got my two clowns set up here, the same distance as the back of my car. So I'm gonna drive through these clowns in reverse, only using the backup camera. Now, to the back of the car, I've got the Whistler backup camera installed right here. You're gonna see video of me backing up outside the car as well as video from the LCD inside the car. Let's do it. This is test one. Am I a good driver or what? Right through those clowns. Let's make test two a little bit more sporty. Time for test three, the final and always best test. Check this one out. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right, quick reaction to that. All right, let's get a real reaction to that situation there. You can see we got a clown down, one clown standing. I gave it everything I had. You probably shouldn't be backing up that aggressively. This is just a test, so no uh, injuries, just clown situations. Uh, but all in all, I think I did a decent job given that I was doing about 20 miles per hour in reverse. Let's do the wrap up. So we did have a lot of fun today, but I have to say that backup cameras are really a nice safety feature to have in your car. And this Whistler backup camera specifically is a great way to retrofit a car that doesn't have one. Now, speaking of the Whistler backup camera, they say it's easy to install and I have to agree with that. It took me about 20 minutes and that's because it's solar powered and has a lot less wiring than what you'd expect. Now the operation is really easy, so that's no problem. The one thing I will 
will say about this backup camera, at night it struggles a little bit, but it's not too bad. So it's not gonna be as good as a backup camera that would come with a car that you buy brand new, but it is pretty good and will give you some peace of mind. Anyway, that's it for now. My name is Andrew, this is Kite Army. Please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other content and I'll see you guys around real soon.